Hi, Jason and Randy. Randy, Jason in San Diego, which is out of your district, but you've helped him many times, has new Corel 19, and there's something going on. When you fill it with black, it fills it in with a gray. I can't, for the life of me, figure it out. Jason, for tonight, what you could do is group this together, control, well, yeah, let's control G and then move it up. Control D and make a duplicate of it and put it back. Take this one and go to arrange and ungroup. Select it all and make an outline and then move your outline out of the way. Now, normally you could fill this in with black, but it's filling in with gray. The only way I know how to do it for tonight, because it is a Saturday night, and I hate to bother Randy, but I'm going to send it to him, is I went to a one of mine, and you can see Corel 18 fills it in with black. So what you can do is take that black and copy it and go back to your file and paste it. Of course, that's way too big. But then go up to arrange power clip, place inside frame, and now you have a black outline. So what I would do if you're going to do this and you want to have this flush, and I can't remember what size wood you said, but I would do this right here, and I would run that first. Uh, before you do anything and you might have to run multiple passes and you can actually run multiple passes at the same time but that's another story and on Jason on this right here this is cool but I would run that separately off your page I would take this grayscale soldier and I would engrave all the text if that's what you're doing, on, if this is on a piece of wood, you can engrave all this text and engrave your spot. And then put this, the broken sailor man back and just run that. And it'll be so lightly. I've done this several times and it looks really cool. You can run it at a low, low power and or high power and low speed, or high high power, high speed, and get a really good effect. And then you don't have to sand anymore because this is taking it off. And you can actually go up to print and go to a laser and select that item and go to preview. And it won't show up because mine's not the same size as the laser bit. So you can either do it that way or what I would do would be to move this off your, your uh, and I don't know if these are actually lines, cut lines, but then you could just move this thing to, totally off your page and then move your sailor man back and just run that safely. And then that way, if it's not quite dark enough, I'd go like 100 power, 90 speed. And if it's not quite dark enough, run it again. But maybe Randy can figure out this color situation. And Jason, also, I moved your nudge factor to zero, zero, because whenever you make a duplicate and you had it set at 0.25, so you need to change that, or I won't ever help you again. Anyway, sorry I'm not more help. I've really looked at all the color palettes. Everything looks good. It was set on 5% gray, but I took it out of there, and I still got just black and it says black here but it won't fill in now one thing I did notice inside of Corel draw 19 which I'm gonna love under the color palettes where did I find that uh, windows color palettes color palette manager there is a 256 shades of gray that will be very useful for somebody 
for 3D engraving. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you.